We are back on Morning Line. It's our final segment this morning talking uh, the proposal for medical marijuana in Tennessee. The sponsor in the House, Representative Jeremy Faison, is with us. Real quick, you wanted to say something at the federal level before we get to the last calls that's important. There's often people saying, well, Jeremy, you can't do this. The federal government hasn't changed. So I wanted to bring your viewers aware of something. Every year we have a thing called the Federal Appropriations Act. That's your money being appropriated to different areas through Congress. Congress put this amendment on in 2014, and it's been on the Federal Appropriations Act every year since then. I personally called Lamar, Senator Lamar Alexander's <laughs> office and asked him to put, make sure this amendment went on, and Tennessee's mentioned in it. This is what it says. None of the funds made available in this act to the Department of Justice may be used with respect to the states, all the states that are doing it, including Tennessee. And here's what it says to prevent such states from implementing their own state laws that authorize the use, distribution, possession, or cultivation of medical marijuana. So that's a federal law that's saying you can go ahead and do it. This money is not and to the, be used by the Department of Justice to, to pursue stop us. you from pursuing it. Yes. And that's I, at the federal I, level. Okay, I'm glad you mentioned that. So I just wanted that's, your viewers to understand. I didn't know that. We're, we're, we're doing the right thing here. Okay, let's go uh, next to uh, Linda. Linda, good morning. Hi, Linda. Hey, good morning. Uh, I just want to make a comment about using the hemp oil. Uh, I've been using hemp oil for now about two, almost three months now. And it doesn't have the THC in it, but it's just the hemp oil. Mm -hmm. But I, it keeps me from having to take a hydrocodone every day good. to get through the day with some of the pain that I have in my back and my legs. And it's... If there's a 14 different uh, conditions that re would require the cannabis, I would just uh, say, yes, let's do it. Because I know from my own experience that the hemp oil uh, has worked for me. Mm -hmm. I've heard from literally thousands of people on my posts sharing stories just like hers. Right. And I'm happy for her that it works. For, it may not work for everyone, but it seems to work for her. And what she's doing is entirely legal, by the way, mm -hmm. in Tennessee. Just let folks know um, about getting more information on your bill and the websites. Uh, if they want to look at the 14 conditions, I, you don't have to spew them off right here, but right. that would be, for, where can they go Absolutely. to get the info? You can, you can go to the, the Tennessee legislature website and you can just put in House Bill or HB 1479, and it'll tell you all about it. Or, or you, you can, can go even to Google, my website. Just You're Google right. it and say that, and it'll right. come up in any article or that's been Google written me, on it. You Google me, you can find my website. There's a whole section on what we're doing, all the questions and answers. Jeremy Faison for TN.com. Okay, and again, he's not a doctor. Um, the representative, or rather the senator, right. who's sponsoring it there is a doctor. But uh, you've done your research to put this bill together. Let's go to Joe. Hi, Joe. Are you there, Joe? Yes, I'm here, Nick. Hello, Nick. Good Go ahead, morning, sir. How are you, Joe? I'm a, I'm a, alive in a previous day, Nick. I'm a 10-year survivor of cancer because of uh, Benanol, better known as Marinol. And uh, had it not been for that, we would not be having this conversation. Is that the one you were talking about? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's a marijuana, a synthetic form of medical marijuana. Yes. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's, it's the cure-all. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I don't have to break the law every now and then and smoke the real thing to make ends meet. Uh, chemo, I'm on it every day, and it can make you very sick, and it definitely uh, curtails the quality of life. Whew. I uh, commend Representative Faison for taking uh, the stand that he has. I know his uh, party, that's not their favorite thing to do, is uh, make things easy on us little folks, but... And I also want to commend him for what he said about Abilify and all the other antidepressants. The psychiatrists, particularly the ones who are in pen care, push these things on these poor patients. They start you out on one. When that doesn't work, they give you another drug, another drug, and then they go to what I call known twos and shown twos, anti-seizure drugs such as Depakote which has some mm, terrible side terrible, effects. Terrible. They rob you of your personality, your ability to think, and basically turn you into a chemical version of a ve vegetable. Yep. Joe? He is so right. Thank you. He is so right. We have, we've abdicated our mind to pharmacy, mm -hmm. to what's been put together in a lab. Mm -hmm. I, I abdicated our mind. Sometimes, I just, when I watch the side effects 
on TV. Yeah. I'm like, my gosh, you know, who would take I, this? I sit there sometimes and I watch with my wife and they advertise the drug. Right. And then all the, and this, they got some guy who can read real fast. <laughs> and he's reading a whole list. And I'm like, it sounds like the side effects are worse than the condition you're taking the pill for. Thank you. And, you know, as far as we know, in terms of medical marijuana and the CBD from hemp, I'm not aware of side effects, toxic side effects, certainly along the lines of opioids. Um, in terms of research Let's talk along about those that. lines. So I, I've spoken with many scientists about this, and as it would stand, there is not a toxin in the cannabis plant. Mm -hmm. Now, on the opposite side of that, tobacco has toxins in it, alcohol has toxins in it, opiates have toxins in it. Sometimes a little bit of toxin is not gonna kill you, we know sure. that. But the cannabis plant as it stands, as a whole, does not have a toxin And you can't it. overdose on medical Correct. marijuana. There has never been a lethal dosage that has been validated. Okay. Let's go to Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hi. Go ahead, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning, fellas. I was just wanting to make a comment. Um, this is not about getting high. Correct. Talking about a plant. Correct. We need to stay down with Big Pharma. You are so right, there Tracy. There you go, and thank you. We're not talking about getting high, and we're not talking right now about recreational marijuana, which we see in, in a few other states. That's not coming to Tennessee, at least not here anytime soon. And, and, and what we need to understand is the people who can benefit from the, uh, from the, the safety of this plant, they don't have a desire to get high, Nick. Right. They have a desire to get well. Yeah. And, and, and I, I want to say one more thing. This whole idea of this is a gateway drug, you know what? I, I would admit that it is a gateway drug, hmm. but it's a gateway out of opiates. It's a gateway out of addiction. It's a gateway about a lot of s sorry stuff that c society has created. It's time that we embrace it and realize that God gave us this plant for a reason. There may be some incorrect use, uses of the plant, but my goodness, there's a vast majority of ways to use this plant that are benefit to us. And I truly believe, and I've seen it, I've sat with people, I've sat with veterans, I've sat with sick people, it's a gateway out of opiates. And almost 2,000 people died last year to opiates. It's a gateway out of that. Real quickly, one more call. Jewel, yeah. go ahead, Jewel. Top of the morning, Nick. Hey. How are you, my friend? Good, good. What's on your mind, Jewel? Listen, uh, did not uh, George Washington and Thomas Jefferson <laughs> grow marijuana? <laughs> did they? I don't know. You know, it, well, it's, it's actually true. Okay. And no. uh, th th it was probably more of the industrial hemp variety of the plant, but uh, the first four presidents were known to grow the what we would consider a marijuana plant or industrial hemp plant. And Betsy Ross sowed our first flag well, on hemp fibers. And you guys legalized the industrial hemp a, right. couple, a few years back. There's industrial hemp used in rope. Right. There's pairs of jeans. I have a pair of hemp Plastic jeans. Plastic oils, resins, at all. Yeah. You can go to some stores and buy the uh, the hemp hearts from the inside right. the seeds. It's a high protein. You can go buy hemp protein. Yeah. All of that stuff is legal already in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Of course, there's no THC in any of this. Look, as we wrap things up, though, let's remind folks, you are a Republican mm -hmm. elected to the legislature in 2010. You are from a conservative district in far east Tennessee. You are a church-going father, mm -hmm. married of five children. Mm -hmm. And so clearly, we you've, <laughs> you're conservative. Right, and absolutely. And you, though, have we carry guns. at this. You, you're yeah. a gun owner, yeah. and you support the Second Amendment. Right. But when it comes to medical marijuana, which some might say, well, he'd be the last person that would advocate right. anything regarding marijuana, you make an exception, maybe, to a rule for yourself. I, I allowed myself to do the research. Okay. And when you allow yourself to do the research, you realize, Nick, we've been lied to, and we've hurt a lot of people by believing this lie. It's time to peel the layers back from the lie and expose the truth. And hopefully, when you expose the truth to people, they grab a hold of it. Mm -hmm. What do you imagine? Today, 1.30, yeah. what's happening today? This is in... Right. It's in Criminal Justice Subcommittee. What stage are we in the right. process? This the is average the first Joe time. just knows when the heck do you right. guys get to vote on this if it ever goes to right. vote. So I have four committees I have to get through. I have Criminal Justice Sub, Criminal Justice Full, Health Committee, and then the Finance Committee. That's four committees that I have to go in front of a group of my peers, explain to them what I do. Before it could it die ever, in any one of those. They could send it to one of those crazy committees. Is it a plus having the Speaker of the House supporting your right. bill? And we believe that Beth Harwell the next governor of Tennessee is going to come in today and be the tie-breaking vote in criminal justice. And I, I think when she does, it's going to put her 
as a true leader in Tennessee when they realize that she's seen the truth about it and she's willing to put her gubernatorial candidacy on the line by walking in and voting in committee. Yeah, how you feel about this as a constituent, let your, if you're for it or against it, let your lawmaker know right, about absolutely. it. Right, yeah. absolutely. And I, yeah, it'd be interesting. We're certainly going to be there with the crew covering it today, but I would like to be there to hear some of the opposite arguments from some of them. And there are lawmakers, like you said, she may have to be a deciding vote. Right. So there's some in there. Have you talked to them? What have they said? Why are they going to vote against it? Right. There's six in the committee, so it's three so to three right now. So why are they right going to vote against it? Um, I don't know. You'll have to ask them, and I encourage like your I said, listeners I am to ask thirsting them. thirsting for a rational argument because I'm ready to listen um, against medical marijuana, and I have not heard it. I have right not now, heard I'm just it. hearing it's the way I drafted my bill. That's why they're against okay, it. Okay, they may have questions. Well, you've told me there are some that would wish your bill went further. Right, and, you know, right. the bottom line on this is it's one step at a time, folks, right. I, I would say. Well, okay. listen, I, I really appreciate you coming on, Representative. Hey, uh, thank you. Education. I thought it, I knew a lot about it, God and I've learned a heck of a lot from you. Yeah. We'll follow the process, and, um, and we'll stay on. See you at 1.30. Yeah, I'll be out there. Take right care, on. sir. We'll thank take you. a break, wrap things up right after this.